should you not be having casual sex? Namaste everyone, my name is Vasundhar Talwari and let us understand why scientifically it is proven that it is not a good thing for women especially to go about changing her sex partners and it is clearly mentioned and so beautifully explained in this book that I am reading which is called The Tao of Sexology and it's by Dr. Stephen Shang. impregnated with the man's energies and that energy stays in her system for nine whole months the same amount of time it takes for a baby to be born does that make sense now why do we as women as you as women want to carry someone's energies you're not gonna be ending spending your rest of the life with. so call me traditional thought processed person or somebody who's not in tune with the times not westernized enough not modernized enough but i truly feel that a woman should be so particular about who she exposes herself to, whose energies she invites into her life and something that stays on for nine months is a big deal. And in case if you as a woman is indulging in multiple partners, just imagine what kind of a havoc you're creating inside of yourself. When one man's energy stays inside of you for nine months, another man's nine months, another man's nine months, it's a whole mishmash of different energies. And you don't know what these men are coming with, what baggages they are coming with, what emotional traumas they're coming from, what hang-ups or mental states or the spiritual state of being they are coming from. And you mingling with these energies is just creating more havoc. And end of the day, a woman wants stability. Any woman wants stability. Any woman who is looking for sex is looking for love at the end of the day. Even though you may deny it, but you are indeed. That feel of touch, that intimacy is a shortcut to feeling loved. And end of the day, when that man walks away, having done whatever he's done with you, with your permission or without your permission, huh, leaves you unstable, feeling unloved, going back to feeling alone. I keep giving this analogy to my clients who ask me what should they do when they feel alone? What should they do when they have the urge to have sex? And so on and so forth. So I only tell them one thing and that's the analogy I give to them is that of a parking. A public parking is where a man drives his car, parks, does his job and goes back where? He goes back to his parking, his home, isn't it? The next day he drives out again, parks his car somewhere else and goes back home. So my question to all you ladies is, do you want to be a public parking or do you want to be someone's home? Another analogy I give to my clients is that of an amusement park. You go there, you sit on rides, amuse yourself. But then finally you go back home. You don't stay in the amusement park. You don't live there. You don't spend nights there. You go have your fun, but then eventually you go back home. 
So are you a ride in an amusement park? Or do you want to be a home? So for me, my advice, so called a coach, shouldn't be giving advices, but my heart felt uh, Voice <laughs> says that please you women whom I love who I think are all goddesses are divine do not indulge in these petty pleasures that creates a havoc disturbs your state of mind creates disharmony creates um, unnecessary palpitation fear guilt depression, sadness, lack of feeling loved and so on and so forth. Please make wise choices, uh, choose the energy that uplifts you, loves you, tends to you, protects you, pampers you. Do not give in just because. Hmm. Hope this video has made sense to you some of you and if it has then please leave a comment uh, in the comment box below and let me know your thoughts what do you think about having casual sex and what did you feel about what I had to share about the energy staying in your system for nine months and uh, you being a roller coaster ride for someone or a parking slot out there for someone instead of being their homes let me know in the comment box below and uh, please share it with your loved ones who would love or benefit from listening to this message. Like and subscribe to my channel for many many more beautiful messages from my heart. Thank you so much for listening and I love you very very much. Mwah.